In this video, we will try to understand how the simple pneumatic circuit works. So let us start with the pneumatic circuit to operate a single acting cylinder. So first, we will draw the circuit over here. So we have shown the FRL unit over here and then the directional control valve. So as you can see over here, high pressure air from the compressor, it enters into the FRL unit, that is the filter, regulator and duplicator unit, where air is filtered, regulated and duplicated and then it enters into this particular direction control wall. So here we have shown the push button operated and spring offset three way, two position direction control wall. So three way they are stand they stand for ports P, R and 1. This is a three way and two position stands for this left envelope mode and this is right envelope mode and this is the push button. In this particular position, we are having this particular right envelope mode and because of this particular spring force, the piston along with this piston rod is retracted and the air from this particular side enters into the port 2 and from port 2 to port 1 and then it will be going to the atmosphere. Now we will see the animation with the help of animation how this particular left envelope mode will work. So when the push button is operated, we will be in the left envelope mode. So as you can see over here, now the air from compressor, high pressure air from the compressor, it will enter into FRA unit from this to port P, from port P to port 1 and then from port 1 to port 2 and then that air pressure will act on this particular piston and it will move forward compressing the spring which is there. This port R is blocked. So in this way we are having the working of single acting cylinder. So as the air is admitted only on the one side of the piston therefore it is known as single acting cylinder. Now let us try to understand the working of double acting cylinder. So first we will draw the circuit over here. So this is the FRL unit as we have already seen. This is the direction control wall. And this is the double acting cylinder. Now let us try to understand the working for this particular right envelope mode which we have shown over here. So air from air from high pressure air from compressor it enters into FRL unit. Then from this it will enter into the port P. From port P it will go to the port 2. From port 2 it will be admitted on the port 4 and it will cause the piston to return. The air from the other side will from port 3 it will come to port 1 and then from port 1 to R and then it is exhausted to the atmosphere. When we press this particular push button, then this particular left envelope mode will get and then we have to see with the help of animation how it will be working. Now as shown over here, this is four way. So four ways are nothing but P, R, 1 and 2. So these are the four ports which are there. Two positions stands for this left envelope mode as well as this right envelope mode. Now let us see what will happen when we push this particular push button. So when we push we are in the left envelope mode and now the air from the compressor, high pressure air from the compressor will enter into FRL unit. From this it will go to the port P. From port P it will enter to port 1 then to the port 3 and then the air will be acting on this particular side of the piston. This will cause the piston to move forward and air from the other side that is the rod inside from port 4 it will enter into port 2 and then it will be exhausted to the atmosphere. So in this way 
the working of double acting cylinder is there. Now as the air is admitted from both the sides of the piston, it is known as the double acting cylinder. Thank you very much for watching.